All right, fellas, how y'all doing this evening? All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. So today, we got some things to talk about, I guess, in the media. What's trending on mm -hmm. social media. We got a couple white boys that have gotten, I, I would say, beside themselves a bit. A little too familiar. Uh, you yeah. know. Uh, we got the situation with Michael Rappaport. Uh, I guess him and Kenya Moore were going back and forth on some show, and then he eventually ended up posting a picture of her next to a monkey. Mm -hmm. Right? Gorilla. That, uh, that, yeah, gorilla. Mm -hmm. that, that good old, um, good old boys uh, go to. Yeah. And then also you had uh, Gary Owen going back and forth with um, Michael Blackson. Michael Blackson. Yeah. I guess Michael Blackson told him that he. Called him the N word and told him he could, uh, you know, I bet you won't, I say, bet it you won't say it back. Mm -hmm. And Gary Owen got his wife to, uh, which was a, just a bad fucking look, to uh, fill in the N word for him as he tried to go back at, at Michael Blackson. So, and on the second time she said he followed it up with, I wish I could say it. Yeah. That, that, was, that was the worst. That, that, that was the worst. Yeah. Part of it. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying, Gary. Whole thing look pretty he should have so. left that shit out. Yeah, but that, that to Don't me that was part. just uh, <clears throat> icing on a cake. Boy. And then it just looked bad for a black woman to be like, that black nigga, like, black is just bad. And, now you, and, you, and you got yourself a white husband. That just don't look. You can't just be standing next yeah. to your white husband like, nigga. No, black nigga. Nigga. Yeah, you know black what I mean? nigga. Like, it's yeah. like, come on, man. Why don't you just. He called you out and said you won't say it, and you fell for the bait. I just said I won't. And fucked yourself in the game. Exactly. Now you got people making videos on YouTube and shit, yeah. sitting around talking about your stupidity. Yeah. That yeah. was just that wasn't a, that wasn't a smart move. And the reality yeah. is, I mean, well, I, I know he tore us. He got a pretty black audience. Mm -hmm. You right. know what I mean? So that was completely he, he, black he audience. Really kind of shitting on himself. But but a lot of them gonna give him a pass. I almost felt like yeah. the wife was like Uncle Ruckus. Yeah. And, yeah. and that same. Bunny Ruckus. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Yeah. He was bunny ruggers. Which tell. comedian was that? That um, might have, it's probably Chris Rock because it sounds like some Chris Rock stuff. When he was talking about how a lot of white people really want to say nigga, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but they can't. He's like, yeah. well, I wish I could do. The, I could ride down the street without getting pulled over by the police. Let's switch places. Uh -huh. But uh, he was joking <clears throat> and uh, going back and forth with uh, Michael Blackson and all of that, but. You do wish you could say that. Mm -hmm. and, and the reality you know? of the whole I wish I could say nigga thing is interesting because, you know, black people use the word, yeah. We use it all the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you can say well, you flipped it, you can say you use niggas, whatever you want to say. Yeah. But the reality of it is, is, you know, the history behind it is um, when white people use it, mm -hmm. it's detrimental to black people. Right. Right. And so, for white people to want to say it, it's like certain shit just don't make sense. Like, if say, say, you know, a girl who got raped and they were calling her some type of name as mm -hmm. they raped her. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You would never be like, I just wish I could say the word to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why, yeah. where's the desire to say some shit that that hurts? Could hurt a motherfucker. Right. Like, why? If if, 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 a, if a gay <clears throat> person was talking to another gay person mm -hmm. and I was I was in the store, let's say I was even cool with these people. It was my cousins or something. They just my gay cousins. Mm -hmm. And one of them was like, shut up, faggot. Uh -huh. That don't mean I'm going to say that too. Mm -hmm. Y'all can do that. That's just how y'all talk to each other. Right. But I know it's not coming from the same place if a straight person over here says it. Right. I don't want to say that. That's y'all thing. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Y'all can have that. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, but it goes back to the whole we want to be able to do everything. Mm -hmm. That you could do, like, mm -hmm. and have everything that you have, like, right? Because we're nothing, entitled to every to fucking thing. Every else this fucking design. thing you got, right. like, there's nothing that you can have. Right. And, and and not only that, that they they, they like to feel like their life in danger too. Secretly, I mean, you look at them, they're like jumping off mountains and <laughs> jumping from trucks and wild shit like that. So they like being right like there, the real right on the edge. Right, right. they want somebody to slap the fuck out of them. Right. Right. Niggas beat their ass and shit. <laughs> So they, they want to get right up there on it. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Action junkies. Right. Yeah. You want to walk into a black bar and be like, hello, niggas. Right, right, right. right. And just run out. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even want to run. All right, you going to get caught, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Gonna get so, caught. you know, the thing the thing with, with Gary and his bed wench that he married. <laughs> Yeah, that was real bad for his bed with his, oh his, his bride of a bed wench. You yeah. had a fucking reality show on BET last year. <laughs> What the fuck is you doing, that man? Was awful what are you thinking about? That was stupid. I'm happy. Like both of them. I'm very happy. 
I mean, then Gary Owens, the only movies he he's in is black movies. The only people he's uh, you, you hanging around black people. That's his thing. That's you should do best. black comedy shows. But, you in black movies. You ain't in no damn white movies. But he should be smart enough <laughs> because everybody in your life is black. And she you need to ask smart them smart before enough. you do some stupid shit. But is she this should okay? be smart enough to be like, oh, yeah. this ain't the way we do it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. you know that's, what I mean. That's why she's yeah. been there. She should have been like, nah, dude. That's not exactly why she's been No, no, I'm talking about it's her fault that she did that. Um, it's totally his yeah, fault yeah, as well, yeah, but yeah. that's her. He didn't make her do that. Yeah. She thought that this shit was cute and all yeah. of that. She should have said, "You know what it is? is bad for your career." You know what yeah. it is, right? Let me tell you, it's not a war time. That, 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 that's that's what your kid. woman's supposed to tell uh, you, hey baby. I feel you. We going to war with this dude, yeah. but uh, that's not the way. Gary, you're out. When he brought the shit up, she should have slapped the shit out of him. You want me to do what? What? Let's be clear here. Do your comedy shit by yourself. <laughs> that's how we're doing it at home. She's like, okay. Say nigga when I can't say nigga on video, okay? Right. I mean, that's going to be a very big kids and everything. It might have been, been, been her real. idea, though. Shit. Might have been. Either way, it's a bad Both of them, both them got to take accountability. Yeah. So it, it's, it they is what it together. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's when all them jokes and shit goes wrong. But though. but you know what's messed up about it? He's not going to lose no fans behind it. He's going to lose something. He'll lose something. He'll lose something. He'll lose something. They gonna get him. They give him the pass. He ain't gonna lose no fortune. Well, nah, if, if he embraces right. the racist inside of him, he can make more money <laughs> than he's ever made. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? That's, that's the right. reality. Right. He could be speaking that outright engagements and all types mm -hmm. of shit if he wanna go with it. It ain't like he gonna but lose. If he tries to return to the same demographic, he may he may lose a couple dollars. I just say BT it, 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 probably gonna up them. They probably yeah, gonna give them more money now. We got any white fans of the show that listen that hang with all black people? Just don't do the just same leave shit. Just alone, leave man. The it's shit one motherfucking alone. thing y'all don't get. Right. Let it fucking go. Like these yeah. niggas that have accepted you <laughs> and, you know, and brought you into their own their home and everything. Just be the white friend. Yeah. Just be the if you're gonna be the white friend, be the white friend. Stop trying to cross over too much. And do shit that you ain't supposed and to do. Understand what friend means. Shit. Yeah. But they just they just want everything. Yeah, let that shit go. Just let it let that go. go. Let that go. Go. Say it. go home and just scream it till your fucking throat hurt. You know what I mean? <laughs> just let it go. You know, just let it go. It's not that big. So enough about scary Gary Hoen. Um and then so Michael Rappaport, who mm -hmm. had a, an alleged black pass, I guess, for twenty plus fucking years. Uh I guess I guess Remy is coming out of him now. That so. don't surprise me, man. He played the fuck out of Remy. He did, you know. Yeah. It, it, I just he absolutely did. I've never been a big fan of him, but um, I was a, I was always skeptical of that motherfucker. Yeah, something about him just never. Yeah, it wasn't right. right. Mm -hmm. You know, like I don't know. He, he, I hate when white boys try to be like the black the authority on black shit. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. You I know, agree with that too. whenever he talks about whether it's rap or whether it's black. Athletes and all that shit. I mean, it's like I just don't like the whole. My opinion is like true valid. Yeah, I mean, not even valid, but the authority. Like, mm -hmm. and and so I'm not surprised with the monkey shit. Everybody knows what the fuck. I mean, the Webster's dictionary used to say gorilla meant black woman. You know what I mean? Mm. And so it's not like a thing where a black hairy woman. That's mm -hmm. what it's, that's what he said. But um, it's not a thing where you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's just when you piss me off and you outwit me, I'm going to return to my racist antics, my racist roots. Right. I yeah. mean, he called the monkeys in fucking uh, high learning. Learning. And he, and So it's yeah. not like you and, don't and, know. He, he is a much smarter yeah. guy than that. Yeah. I'm not, he don't get no pass or no <laughs> ignorant, I didn't know, no. whatever. He's had an excellent fucking career mm -hmm. over the years of directing stuff, starring and stuff. Like I said, he even got a fantasy football show uh, on Sirius XM. He's done a lot. Mm -hmm. He's done a hell of a lot. Mm -hmm. And he knows black culture well enough where, dog, you're smarter than that. But the way he you're, speaks... You're, you're smarter than that. As a black authority also gives you that inclination that he feels like there's a certain place black people are supposed to stay with him. Right. And she probably, I didn't see them get into it, but he probably felt like she got out of her 
But were they actually Flakes. like arguing that that's into what, it? That's or? what I understand. She, she, yeah, I didn't know if they were like they were kind of clowning going, each other. They were going other. at each other, but you know, I would I, imagine. Apparently, she got the best of them, right? Yeah. Because he, he resorted yeah. to that. Yeah. And yeah. He, he's supposed to be the comedian you lost on TV yeah. to somebody who's just an actress. Yeah. Just a <laughs> I didn't get to watch you. Got, you got outsmarted hey. by this woman on it, TV. If you've been around black women long enough, you should know better than right, to try right. to out tag a black woman and argue it. That's not retarded. That's retarded. She gonna win. Yeah. You that shit alone. And at the end, of the day, uh, some of these cats might not lose fans and all of that, but that shit gotta hurt going home and knowing. All right, the niggas don't fuck with me like they used to. Not, 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 not just the. Uh, they they see me now. Yeah, they see me now they for what I really now. am. That I'm not as down as they thought I was. Yeah, I'm not fooling them no more. Right, I can't fool everybody. Even if a lot of them still come see my movies or come to my shows or whatever, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm not the exception. Yeah. To the rule to the anymore. Rule. Yeah. I'm not the exception, exceptional white guy anymore that proves yeah. that all white people ain't bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, now I'm another white guy that may or may not be on some bullshit. Yeah. Right. Now, now people watching their back even when I'm around. Yeah. That, I, I, that has to hurt a little bit. It does, psychologically. But, but, but it's the, the key truth, word though. there I mean, is it's the truth, a little though. bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if, you know, our, our, our thing is, is um, we need a code to stick by. When you disrespect this, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and, 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 and you're punished, uh, you, you're ostracized, and, yeah. and, and and there aren't enough of us on board with that. So yes, it'll hurt a little bit psychologically, mm-hmm. but you 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 still booking gigs and doing things and professionally making money. So how really how know. bad does that can that really? I don't hurt? really know how big of a black base he has though. He has Michael Rappaport, he has a huge yeah. black base. Yeah. I don't really fuck with him. So I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean he made that Tribe Called Quest documentary. He yeah. made the Tribe Called Quest. Oh, he's been in exactly. Spike joints. I mean he's yeah. been a he he was he was one of the guys that was. Well, they said he was kind of shady with that Tribe Called Quest. He was. They, yeah. they, 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 they had a lot of so disagreements he, about he, the way it was made. Yeah, he was doing and, that. He was doing shit for real. Yeah, exactly. He was on the Dave Chappelle show. You know what I'm saying? So he he definitely has a a black audience. I think he has more of a mixture. Dave Chappelle show. I was saying as far as him making money directly from black people. Oh, right? got so it. let me ask: Is is is, is he what, I mean? what you would consider a, a, a culture vulture? Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. He talks about hip hop a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think that I think the biggest problem. I would say him. Gary is more of one than he. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I would say he is more than Gary for real. Okay. Gary still is very white. He just talks about his life being with a black woman. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's kind of Gary's... Um, that's his That's his, that's his, stand oh, that's his thing. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's his thing. thing. I'm a regular yeah. white guy that just rock with black people. Yeah, and, but, you know, he has this whole... I'm from the Bronx, New York, hip-hop shit. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I think yeah. the biggest problem is people on their level need to smack <laughs> the shit out of them. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what comedian... Well, I mean, the they, they, they go... He go on tour with some comedian, Gary Owen, both of them. Somebody need to bring him and get him in the backstage and smack the shit out of him. But the biggest problem That's what the is, fuck is, need to happen. is stop rocking with motherfuckers who stop overly accepting mm-hmm. white folks because they cool. Stop trying to make yourself like stop trying to make white people be something you want them to be. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you back when the Apollo was out. Mm-hmm. White boy sing a song decent and the whole crowd right. go fucking nuts. Yeah. Black girl tear the motherfucker up and everybody like, oh, she can sing. Yeah. It's it's like, so it's Is they like, expect it. Yeah, but but it's bigger than that. That's it's, the problem. It's just, just that whole white just is we just gotta get past well, that shit. Well, we this what it, this what it looked shit. like to me. It looked like even when you heard the little Wayne thing I don't know if y'all I remember he had this interview and he said mm-hmm. I don't see racism all yeah, that yeah, stuff. I remember that what shit. it seems like is some of these people, that? Lil Wayne, uh, so, some, some of these never been discriminated oh, God, against. So and all so, that's some, why some of them got on his ass. Some, some, <laughs> some of these guys, they get up with these white people at a certain level, and then they forget like, well, you know, I'm up here and this guy helped me, and mm-hmm. you know, I don't see racism anymore because you know yeah. I'm up no, here on this level. They don't forget; they just know that it's what they want them to say, and they're not independent enough to say what's really going on. I think sometimes you they know. forget that. Some, I think they forget. Because I think sometimes if you haven't been in a situation, what like no, I ain't forgot. All of us pretty much live in the decent neighborhoods and mm-hmm. shit like that. So, you know. You might not be around enough racist white motherfuckers mm. as much as some people would. Right. Mm. Even somebody in the hood, which might sound stupid because 
the, the race of white motherfuckers don't live in the hood, but they patrol the hood. Right. But, so but I think don't. I think sometimes when people get away from being directly in your face discriminated against mm-hmm. as often, mm-hmm. they pretend like this shit just don't happen at all no That's more. That's pretending. They don't fucking forget. Oh yeah, no, look, look, they pretending, but yeah, but I mean, but I think some of them really believe in their mind. Mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I got money. They think no, they no, think no, money no, is equalized. No, 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 a lot of people think money is equalized. No, 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 but some of them think they're above the it for check. themselves, but they're not talking about for themselves. When they say it, they say racism don't exist. They don't fucking think racism don't exist. But mm. in that case, you know in that mean? particular they case, he was saying shit. I've not experienced. He didn't yeah, say but, it don't exist. He was saying Little he Wayne has experienced this and that. No, but he, but yeah. he did say you know they asked him does he think racism exists? So he said nah, and then he then he referred to himself. He said he said something. He said something like I don't see it. That's, That's what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, I mean, he, he deflects a little bit. Yeah. He don't say it ain't there. He just say, I don't the see it. The full that. quote, if I, if, and I, I can't, I'm going to paraphrase, but he, he mentioned that because like most hip hop shows, the bulk of the crowd are white people. A lot of mm-hmm. white people. And right. so he said something to the effect of all these white people chanting his music or something to that effect. And I, I don't, you know, I mean, and then kind of follow it up with, with kind of what you said. Mm-hmm. So, and, and then on top of that, he's a... a Famous person, mm-hmm. uh, been very famous for the bulk it's, of it's his whole life. life. Yeah, it's whole whole life. life. He's been famous for over twenty years at this point. Mm-hmm. Been doing well, I would assume. He had, ten, he had ten years where he wasn't famous. He right. got his first contract at eleven. Right. A- absolutely, and, and so I guess what I'm getting at is, is kind of what, what you're saying is to an extent, it, it's more of a well, I mind get, trick. That I get what you're saying. Sense. I agree with what you're saying to where they may think it doesn't exist. For them, but they don't say that. They say they get called in to say racism is over, and they say it. Right. Mm-hmm. That's not not thinking. That's not saying I don't experience it. Mm-hmm. That's me trying to do what they want me to do and say it's not happening. Right. They know it's fucking happening. Nobody right. in a fucking America thinks racism doesn't really fucking exist. Right. You know what I mean? And it, I mean, turn the deep TV down. On. Every Consciously. day. Yeah, black people getting shot. Yeah, for fucking yeah, yeah but, but you yeah, literally yeah, have people who niggas, swear up and down. There's some brainwashed niggas who who want to be a part of a society uh, that don't accept them. Exactly. But they exactly. still, exactly. by the way they kiss ass, know that the shit exists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They yeah. just don't want to say it. You know what I mean? But yeah. they know it. They they go out of their way to kiss ass. They got shit on their tongue all week long. Mm-hmm. And wipe it off on Sunday only to put it back on Monday. Mm-hmm. So it's not like they really think it, it don't exist. It's just them playing That's what I say. A lot yeah. of them convince themselves once they get to a certain yeah. level. They convince themselves that I'm above... And that's y'all niggas problem. Everything. Just like you got niggas that get to a certain level, just like all this Me Too shit coming out. Mm-hmm. You get people that get to a certain level that think I can do whatever I want to do yeah. and you're dead ass wrong. Yeah. But you really think you can do whatever you want whatever to you do. Want to do yeah. You got niggas that's so messed up in the head and brainwashed that they really thinking I'm above racism. Yeah. And I, I, and I agree with all of that because like yeah. take Wayne for example, he's from New Orleans. Yeah, I'm not black I'm OJ. It's, it's just, right. Uh, Which is still in like, Louisiana. Right. Right, but well, even with, the most, <laughs> one of the most racist fucking states. But, but here's the thing: even with a statement like "I'm not black, I'm OJ," which is basically what we're saying, right? Mm-hmm. To say I'm not black is acknowledging that racism exists. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Against, so they, so they don't people. think right. racism exists. Tiger Woods. doesn't exist. They think I'm not a part of that. I'm an world. exception, but they're right. not yeah. saying that it doesn't exist. That, well, they're, they're saying trying to say it they ain't black, exist. right? They're not just saying it don't exist for me. They're saying it doesn't exist. That's what I'm saying. Period. Right. At all. Yeah. Exactly. Because they're told yeah. to say it don't exist, so they say it don't exist. Right, right, right. That's what I'm saying. Right. They got they got peers. He got like Lil Wayne got peers. He got well, cousins. Okay, you saw you saw Dr. Dre get pulled over in front of his house. I mean, mm-hmm. I honestly think Nigga, it's, you, it's, you, it's, you ain't stupid. You got people on your level that, that, that experience racism, and you know it's fucking racism. Don't try to act like it's not. There's certain niggas I don't want to answer a question for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to know with somebody that is uh, visibly high or every time all they do an time. interview and all of this, mm-hmm. what they think about uh, yeah. but But that's why they got to do it. And you're not a media right, person. Definitely. And you're that's, not exactly, a media that's person. exactly why they got to do it. go. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know oh, what I'm saying? Man, we still talking about it right now? Let's just get this nigga say some dumb shit. 
Yeah. He's clearly high. He's fucked up. Yeah. He's going to say exactly. Let's ask him some serious questions. He'll read whatever we got on this paper. Right. <laughs> and he's going to just yeah. say whatever, yeah, and his theory. ratings go. We're going to chop it up. They do a lot with Vlad, do. Vlad do a lot of... I seen some shit. We... He's another one, but oh, okay, that's another... And so to bring it video. back, the moral of the story, to me at least... Fuck Michael Rappaport. Well, well, just fuck Gary Owens. And stop going above and, and beyond. And if I see you in these streets, I'm slapping the fuck out of you. Still stop going above and beyond the over over support motherfuckers that you ain't that ain't really, that ain't really fucking with you. They really fucking with right. you. You know what I mean? I mean, and what I just said too. Once you find out, you got to cut them loose. That's pretty yeah, much it. Definitely. And if you white, just be white. But you're not right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 